Hello. In this video we are gonna talk about current division. And whenever you have circuit like this, or something like this, I mean whenever the current has to go through resistors in parallel, it doesn't just go through one resistor. It divides among all of them. And most of the current goes through the resistor with least resistance. And the uh, least of the current goes through the resistor with most resistance because it resists the flow of current. Okay, so what if we want to find the current through 4 ohm resistor in this circuit? So to find the doubt, we need to simplify this circuit first. And uh, in this case it's very easy. We just need to add up these two resistors in parallel and we'll get a circuit that will be something like this. But instead of 5, we will have here 4. And let me explain now why. Because see, if when we are adding cur resistance, we formula is like this. R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So in this case, uh, if R R1 is 20 ohms, R R2 is 5 ohms. And let's see. Um, 20 times 5 divided by 25. This is 100 divided by 25, which is 4. So these resistors are equivalent to just one this resistor. So that's how we simplify the circuit to just two resistors from three. And now but even by inspection now, uh, we can tell that only uh, the current will split into half. 5 amperes will go through here and 5 will go through here. And uh, this means that the total current flowing through these two resistors will be 5 amperes. And here will also be 5 amperes. So. Um, this is just by inspection, we know that 5 ampere will come here, but let's solve it using formula. And the formula is like this. Current in which we are inter uh, interested in equals to the, let it be 4, current, total current, times resistance we are not interested in, divided by total resistance which uh, would be something like uh, R1 plus R2 or something like that so let's do this so in this case our total current is 10 we are interested in I4 I4 equals to total current which is 10 times the resistor we are not interested in in this case here, we have the same values, but we'll have one example with different values. So, current resistance we are not interested in, and they are sum. So, 4 plus 4 is 8. And now we get 4 and 8 simplify to 10 divided by 2, which is Five, and as I, as we said by inspection, current divided into halves. Five ampere comes through here, and other five comes through here. So from here, so basically we found how much current is going through four ohm resistor. It's five amperes. Now we don't need this circuit anymore. Now let's find how much current will come through here. And as we know that 5 ampere is going through this resistor, how much is left? 
we have a total of 10 amperes and 5 is going through here. So the current that's left will go through these two resistors. So the total current here will be 5 amperes. Now let's calculate how much current will go exactly through 5 ohm resistor. So we know that total current going through these resistors is 5 amperes. So 5 times resistor we are not interested in. That is 20 divided by the sum of these resistors which is 25 and this leaves us 4, 4 amperes so current through 5 ohm resistor is 4 amperes now from here as we know that total current through here is 5 and 4 ampere is going through here we can tell by inspection that 1 ampere will go through here. Now let's calculate for that one. So we have uh, total current which is 5 through here times resistor we are not interested in which is 5 ohms divided by their sum. Sum of resistors which is 25 and 25 divided by 25 is 1 and as it was predicted by inspection which made a logic logical sense at least I hope it made it if it not maybe you should re watch that part again so that pretty much explains the current division and the main formula is like this current I'm interested in equals to the total current, let it be one here, times resistance I'm not interested in, divided by the sum of resistances. So current I'm interested in equals to the total current times resistor I'm not interested in divided by sum of resistances. Okay, and there's a special case I need to consider. We need to consider. Now look at this circuit. It's the same circuit, but we have this wire here. Now, as I said before, when we have resistors in parallel, most of the current goes through the path with least resistance. And in this case, resistance here is zero. So, in this case, the entire current will go through here. And here, current will be zero. Still becoming zero, zero, zero. Current through all these three resistors will be zero just because of this. And if you don't believe it, Let's calculate again. So, now, as we remember from before, um, we simplified 20 ohm and uh, 5 ohm resistor, resistors to 4 ohm resistors. 4 ohm resistor. So we had 4 here. And when you have resistors with same values equivalent resistance is uh, if you would divide resistances by 2 uh, I think it didn't make much sense let me explain it better so in this case we have 4 times 4 divided by their sum and don't confuse this with current division formula. Current division formula is like this. And uh, calculating equivalent resistance is like this. Our equivalent is resistance 1 times resistance 2 divided by resistance 1 
plus resistance 2 and uh, so we had three resistors in parallel now we have two resistors in parallel and uh, summing these resistors we get two ohms so instead of these two we can write can write 2 ohms here so uh, let's find the current going through this resistor and as we remember the current division formula this one in our case let me move this a little in our case um, the current total current is 10 so 10 times the resistance which I'm not interested in which is 0 because we don't have resistance here divided by the sum of the resistances which leaves us with 0 because 10 times 0 is 0 and anything uh, 0 divided by anything is 0 so current through here is 0 and this leaves us with current through here 10 so that pretty much explains the current division and the main thing you need to know is just how to add resistors in parallel which is done by formula this one let me summarize kind of so the main takeaways are this formula and other formula so this is current division which means that current which I'm interested in equals to the total current times resistance I'm not interested in divided by sum of resistances and now for adding re resistances in parallel we have one resistor times second resistor divided by their sum so that's pretty much it okay thanks for watching